Hello, this is Tim Wilkes II with Fishers of Men. I am director of this ministry and also one of the full-time instructors uh, with our training course. It's a privilege for me to be able to take a few minutes and tell you about what we do and some updates on things that have been going on in, in the ministry. Uh, Fishers of Men is a 12-week training course in person-to-person -person evangelism. Uh, we have 11 class meetings plus a graduation, making a total of 12. There's daily homework involved in, in this training course. Those who take this course and do it right know take, it takes a lot of work uh, to do this uh, this training course. The students are grounded in God's truth. That's one, of, that's one of the biggest fears that people have of not knowing enough. Well, we put a lot of time and effort into training people to be able to teach uh, the material, and they're prepared uh, to do that. And of course, we teach methods of reaching and teaching lost souls. We'll teach a specific technique uh, that we can use to be more effective in reaching out to others. We call it discovery learning. We're not preaching sermons. We're not lecturing. We're helping people to see the truth uh, from the Bible for themselves. There's no charge uh, for one of our full-time instructors to teach this course. We work very hard uh, to uh, raise funds uh, from congregations like you and individual brethren as well. And we're thankful for uh, those supporters so very much because they enable us to, to do this course without charging congregations or our students. Uh, we never want funding to be a reason that someone does not take the Fishers of Men evangelism training course. Also, I'm very excited to tell you that the full 12-week course can now be taught online. Daily homework and all the other assignments uh, can now be submitted online. We can do the full training course. Now, when uh, when travel is not feasible or possible, uh, I've done it a number of times in foreign countries and also here in the U.S. You know, with people scattered around the country teaching people that and training people otherwise I could not uh, teach or train and I'm very excited about the possibilities moving forward with that as well. Currently we have three full-time instructors Barry Hatcher, Dale Broking, and myself. Our brother Daryl recently has been teaching uh, the training course in Hillsboro, Tennessee as well as McBenville, Tennessee. He got some good things going with those classes and every I, I get updates from him from time to time about uh, Bible studies and baptisms that are going on. I'm excited about that. Recently, <laughs> Brother Barry Hatcher uh, was teaching uh, the training course in Singapore and Malaysia, and we'll talk about that uh, here on these pictures as well. Uh, he was doing this through the fall. You see the dates there, August through November of 2023. And at graduation, he told me that the, his Fishers of Men students still had 30 prospects that they were uh, still continuing in Bible studies with, and I'm, I look forward to hearing uh, some good things coming from those uh, brethren as well. Oh, I wanted to update you about something else about Brother Barry as well. Um, currently, he's in the Philippines, uh, teaching multiple classes, traveling different places in the country, uh, teaching brethren uh, to be more effective soul winners there. When he finishes with those classes, he's planning to head to Ind Indonesia as well and be there for an extended time, continuing to work for the Lord. I'm thankful for his work uh, in the kingdom and with through this ministry as well. In July of 2023, I had the privilege of taking my family to the Philippines. We did a number of different things there, and <coughs> including a couple of vacation Bible schools, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And you see a picture there on the left, my son speaking publicly as well. And there on the, the right, uh, my wife's young uh, Bible class at uh, one of the vacation Bible schools. There's my little girl, Nilly, uh, Lily, kneeling in the front uh, of that picture there. Uh, as well. We also did an evangelism seminar uh, while in the Philippines, which was very well attended. People were very receptive to that as well. We also did some personal Bible studies and evangelism uh, while there as well. Also, in January of this year, uh, I was in India. Uh, we did a, a big, <coughs> excuse me, brethren, I apologize. We did a big youth rally at Skinner's Garden. I've been doing that every year uh, since, uh, well, I think about 2015 or 16. Uh, well, with the exception of one year, I did not go. It was 2021, uh, and you remember why. I don't even have to say it. Uh, but we had a good attendance, very good attendance. Total attendance for the youth rally was about 600, and people were coming and going. So at any given time, there were about 400 or more uh, there present on campus as we're holding this youth rally. Also, I went, had the privilege to go to a place I'd never been before in India. I went to a, the city of Aurangabad and did uh, some preacher's classes there. I did preacher's classes over at Skinner's Garden before I left as well. Um, but brethren were very re uh, receptive there. And also met with some brethren who had taken the Fishers of Men course with me online as they were very much interested 
and translating the material and trying to train more brethren in their local state uh, to be a more effective soul winner. So we're excited about exploring that opportunity and pursuing it, trying to train as many people as we can to be soul winners for the Lord. From August to December, I was teaching uh, three classes, one in the Philippines online, one in Miami, Florida, and uh, one in Brooklyn, Arkansas. These three classes combined reported on 160 Bible studies with 55 different souls, and during the course had three baptisms. Uh, these numbers are only what happened during the course. Uh, they count nothing that uh, took place when the course is over with, although sometimes I I get still get reports, get messages about continued studies and baptism and so forth, and I love getting those reports. Uh, from January, from November to January, uh, I was teaching in my home congregation in Coldwater, Mississippi, and had to get a little bit creative with the scheduling there because I was in India for a part of January. Uh, but uh, during the course, these students conducted, uh, reported on 75 different Bible studies with 21 different souls and had one baptism during the course. Uh, it's exciting for me to be able to be a part of these works uh, as well. As I mentioned earlier, I love getting updates from my former students. Here's a few pictures and examples of things. I continue to get reports after. Those numbers were just what happened during the course, but these messages I've received after the course is over with, just letting me know that continue the work continues, and I'm very thrilled uh, to know about the work that's going on after the training course is over with. Current classes, I'm teaching in Phoenix City, Alabama, uh, and then I've also got two online classes, one in East Asia, which is primarily, <coughs> excuse me, which is primarily China, Chinese students, which uh, is very exciting for me, and to be able to train brethren in China to be more effective soul winners. Also, I've got what we're calling an open online class with these brethren scattered around the different parts of the U.S. Uh, as well. Uh, they've been reporting just on Bible studies for just one week now. Uh, but these classes have reported on 18 Bible studies with 18 different souls uh, in just one week uh, since we gave the assignment to set up and conduct Bible studies. Looking forward to seeing how this progresses. We're off to a great start. Uh, brethren, thank you so much for being a part of this work. And if you're interested in hosting the course or want more information, please reach out to me. I would love to talk to you about it. Thank you so much for being a part of this work, brethren.